what's up, everybody? Ooh, honey. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, let's hope that that doesn't happen again. Uh, hi hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back here for another episode of Skyrim. Maybe, possibly, if the game doesn't, like, die on me, um, which is preferable. Uh, where... <laughs> where do I go? Do I have to go down? Or am I in the right spot? I do not know. I, I kind of ran up the mountain uh, on this horse, on this blessed horse. Um, but hello, welcome. Um, so a little update, last episode I was having issues with a quest, said that I would be right back and uh, fix it, and I didn't fix it because it is unfixable. Basically it glitched out because I had a quest in that same place, and it will never be able to be finished. I could probably do some little hacky type things and be like, hey, you know, I'm at this point in the quest line, could you fix it? And it fixes itself then, but I really don't care. Um, I'm in a not caring mood right now. I'm, it's not a good day. <laughs> um, basically I have a live stream and I have to, today, and I have to be up by six in the morning tomorrow. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I don't care. What is this? Is this the place that I need to go? Is this the place? Yinglevid. Yeah, it's the place. We're going in here. I didn't even clear out my inventory or anything. I just started recording. Retrieve Aerodil's journals. Okay. Who's Aerodil? Should I care? Because I don't. Hello, is anyone here for me I to like kill? I do like the looks of this, my dear, dear friend. I like the looks of this indeed. This might be the place I have lost you before, though. Um, I, I said this in the last episode, but I, I had issues with one of these dungeons where um, the companion I took in with me got stuck, and I couldn't get him unstuck. No matter how much teleporting around I did, or going back to the start of the dungeon, or going to the end, um, he would not follow me. And I'm pretty sure that that was Fandel. Um, if it wasn't Fandel, then it was definitely um, Erender, because those are the only two companions I've ever taken. Um, and whichever one, like I, I tried to push him out of the way, and he eventually got angry at me and started to kill me and I had to kill him. Um, so, yeah, if this is the one, then I'm gonna be quite sad. Because I've taken quite a liking to Fandel, as per usual. Never should have come here. Never should have come here. You know what you never should have done? Just try to fight me, lady. Oh god, that actually is a thing that I need to fight. Okay, I'm gonna actually die. How did that happen? I know I'm bad at video games, but Jesus. Could you actually try to be good for once? You're dead, which kills... Wait. Oh, there's another. Not anymore. I took her ghostly head off. What you think of that? I could be going to the store, you know, to get food, because there's food on sale, and it's like, I should get that, but no, I'm here doing this. Arendelle's Journal. Day one. It seems the Cretans of Dawnstar are not quite a fool as foolish, a foolish as I ha had surmised. You're quite foolish for not being able to write a proper sentence. They found my experimentations and, needless to say, were not pleased with what they saw. No matter. My work can only flourish without the distractions of living amongst the unenlightened. I have found a cave off the northeast of Skyrim, coast of Skyrim. That will be more than sufficient for my contained studies. The ruins of Yinglevid should hold the materials I need to learn more about reanimating and enslaving the dead. On a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Alright. Lusty Argunian maid. No. <laughs> 
Um, let's see. What's in here? Take all. Take all. And take all. Uh, is there anything? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Alright. I also have a head splitting headache. Um, which is just lovely. Everything's lovely. Let's see. I saw a guy up here, but I think he came and attacked me, and that's why I had so many things attacking me. Maybe not. Is you trying to kill me? Oh, honey. You's about to die. And you, being a ghost, could you not? Would you kindly not? Thank you. So, you, you... Okay, or... You do whatever you just did there. Me. Okay. Gold. That's about all they have on them that's any good. We'll go left first. Hello? Is there a journal in here? I'm looking for journals. Because I don't care about reading other people's journals. Actually, I really do. That's really rude. Um, there's no journal in here. This was a waste of my time. Well then. Okay. I figured there would be something there since there was something in the other little offshoot. These things could fall and kill me. Look at that texture break. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, I just hit him in the crotch. He probably deserved it. Take that, because we need all the soul gems we can get. Is there anything up here? Oh, what? Fandel, I hate you. I hope you die. Anything over here? Oh, there is a chest up here. Let's get this chest. It's an adept chest. It's okay. It's probably this way. I'm surprised that lockpick didn't break. It should have. Uh, is there something else? Let's wait for uh, our whirlwind sprint to recharge. <laughs> Uh, it looked like there could be something else here, but it does not seem like there is. No, no, no. I'm just gonna hit him from up here. Okay, that's not fast enough. Okay, now come down here, please. Don't you dare shout at me. Get dead. Hey, Fandel, you worthless. Uh, don't need that, that, that. Oh, wait, do, 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 do. there's still arrows. Thank you. I, f I keep on forgetting that I gave um, Fandel orcish arrows. And so I see orcish arrows, and I'm like, wow, these guys really got some good arrows. It's like, oh, yeah. That's from that's from Fandel actually doing something for once. All right, let's just go on. Hopefully I'm not missing any books. Is that a thing? Hope not. Here's a book. Part two. Uh, I Day eight. I have established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice. While in the first chamber, I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first, I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself reevaluating. Day 9. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island, while the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times, standing watch over me while I sleep.
All right, so hello. No, 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 no. Oh, you're dead. I didn't expect you to die that fast. Oh, you hit me. Oh, you're a death lord. Well then, I'm gonna level up very soon. That is nice. The reason why I got silent there for a moment is because I was thinking about the time that I, I thought about um, being one of those people that reads stories on YouTube and kind of wishing I had tried to pursue that a little bit harder, um, but I didn't. <laughs> and here I am playing video games. I love video games and all, but I also like that aspect of, or that, that side of YouTube. Oh, we're already we getting enough. Oh, well, I am now too slow to walk. But we will read this, day 21. An intriguing development. Tonight my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favorite servant, but I recognized the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well, and made bold claims that I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies! True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of the maidens in town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of more uninvited guests, led me to conclude that she would never return to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here, next to me, as I write this. Funny. Her eyes are still not so full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight, using fresher material. Alright, so we've got three of four. Fendel, I require your assistance. Can I just give you things? I've got your back. Uh, I need you to trade. Yep. What do you want me to carry? Everything, as per usual. Um, uh, yeah, give that. I don't know why I even have that. Uh, Ebony Mace, yes, please. Glass bow of dread. What's my bow like? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that. I forgot that I had a amazing bow um, that I made. Uh, let's see. I don't want to give him that because I might use it at some point. I don't know why I have leather boots. Um, and that's good enough for now. Okay. Lead Goodbye. On. I will lead on. Yingleviv throne room. Hello? Is anyone here for me to murder? Because I just want to hit some things with my mace. Let's do a little F5 because Don't I might like die. Looks of this. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Arendil. <laughs> Should I attack him? Like, is this one of those moments where I attack him first? Oh gosh. Maybe. Maybe attack him. It, yes, I should most definitely attack him. I'm gonna run out of potions. Oh gosh. Items, potions. Well, I said in previous episodes that I wanted a way to use my potions. Oh my gosh, he hurts so fast. Oh my gosh. Uh, do I have a resist everything? Resist fire, resist cold, yes. Uh, and then let's restore some more health. And let's restore some stamina, even though it's going to go away really fast. Um, because of... Because of the... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, he's dead. Oh, thank goodness. Aaron Nils Key, uh, take that, and why not? That hurt a lot. Read. We'll take it. Ectoplasm. Greater Soul Gem. That's always good to have on hand, just in case. Ghostly Remains, 7 Gold, or Orcish Arrow. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead in here. Oh, it's okay. I already killed your master. Why aren't you dead? Really? 
No. Bad. Bad ghosty. Alright. It's a very, um, unfulfilling murder. As there's really no... No prize here. Do I go back here, or do I go... Okay, yeah, let's go here first. Oh, Stone of Baron's Eye. Inkwell, Purple Mountain Flower, Part 4. Day 28. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, was revived as the others, bowing to my commands. Whip. Yeah, yeah, it's Bowie. Um, with only one interesting development. She has reformed, incorporally, more phantasm than reanimated dead. What? Is that really a word? As her glowing visage, visage, oh my god, this is why I didn't read for, for YouTube. As her glowing visage stood before me, I found my hand reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other, as if her essence were invigorating my very soul, connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This discovery is life-changing. Day 35. I have ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within Yinglevid, I should have sufficient room to store many new materials, until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar, and wonder if they were in fact portents of time to come. Well then. Alright. Um, I will take your mountain flower that you tried to woo your um, dead maidens with. I will not sleep in that bed. I do not want to think of the atrocities that happened in this bed. Lots of wine. Yeah, you had to be drunk to be him. Ah, uh, I do want that. I do want that. That, and we'll take that, of course. And I don't really care. There's something on me. It's nothing. Um. Sure. I mean, he made me use all my potions. I, I One moment I'm complaining about having too many potions, the next moment I'm complaining about using all my potions. So, yeah. Uh, what's this? Is this a viewing of what is to come? She's dead. She is quite dead. Um, sucks for her. What is this? Oh, it does this. Can't search that. Oh look, dead people. You are a Nord. You have nothing on you. You are worthless. Breton. Redguard. Oh, you actually have something. Thank you for having five gold. You are all worthless. Alright. Is this the exit? Maybe. Possibly. It was a master lock. I mastered that lock with that key, though. Hey -o. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. Maybe. Where are we? How did I not see this? Oh, there's gotta be like some weird thing in the wall that I didn't see for some reason. Uh, Magicka and don't care. I could sell it, yes, but I mean, I've got how much gold? 56,000. I don't need any. Yeah, there's a little hole in the wall. As per usual. Um, oh, okay, I know where I am. Yep. Uh, this was the little thing that was like, Really? This, there's nothing here? There was something in the first one. Well, that's why there was nothing there. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. This was not the one that I lost my, uh, companion in last time. I will... I, it, I think it was in some tower. It was like a tower, and then it turned into a cave, and then it was like, Oh my god, this is crazy. Um, and... There was like a little part like this, but you had to drop down onto another layer like this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what do we have to do now? It said go somewhere. Go somewhere and do something and give somebody the news of him or something. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to be entertaining. Did I succeed? Alright. Yeah. Huh? Guardian. Uh, no. No. 
No. Nope. Uh, this is the... Which one was it? It was one of these. I can't do that one. That's the one that I can't do. Which really bothers me. It's like that one quest in Fallout New Vegas that I will never forget. Because I can never finish. Uh, because, uh, one of the, the ghouls that I killed, uh, glitched out when I killed him. Miscellaneous. Uh, return to, oh gosh. Well, where is that? I don't know. I would figure it'd be in Dawnstar, but it's not. It's not in that place. I don't want to kill the dragon. Morthal. I mean, I can go there. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Ah, oh, no. Okay, where do I have to return to? Assuming I've been there, I, I just gain entrance to... I've been there. Skyhaven Temple. Yes. What's here? Um, I should probably end this episode, though, so thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Creepy Lady, and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, well, my horse is dead. And there's a dragon. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> Forget them! Oh, I'm with- Oh! Hello! Alright, guys. One second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady. And I will see you in the next episode. Which is obviously gonna be packed full of fun. Peace out, guys.